Hey, what's up, people? It's the boy Vijoy here, back again with another video. So, in this video, I will show you must have extensions for your Atom IDE for web development. That is basically dealing with the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and etc. Mainly the basic three. So, let's begin. Some of them might be a beauty to beautify your atom uh, layout and uh, the font size and style and some of them are actually really uh, interesting about uh, javascript and some of them are like autocomplete html and etc etc so let's get into the video so first we will open your atom and we will just go to the packages you can see here the install packages i have already installed the packages and i will tell you one by one and uh, like uh, this is not top 10 uh, video or something it is basically the 10 must have extensions not a top 10 so the number actually doesn't matter that much so it doesn't mean the number one which comes in number one is the uh, best uh, extension ever installed anything on the atom so it is not like that so what we will do is uh, I will go to packages and now you first if you haven't installed then you need to go to install and search the name that I am telling you can see on the screen with the number so the atom beautify it is mainly installed uh, which in the name says uh, itself only that it is to beautify your HTML CSS JavaScript PHP Python Ruby Java etc what you will write to in atom it is just for the styling purpose like uh, the it is it enhances the beautification on the font or color etc so this is the first one you can see all the languages that are supported in this one and you can see the uh, html style and output before and after of this one it is supported in mac os and linux and windows as well so the original was like you can see it uh, so in the original ones you see it doesn't have an indentation and in the beautify there is even you can see an indented uh, write or uh, writing of the code so it will be much easier for you know, any other person to read your code than to uh, see a uh, normal plain text one after another So the number two is atom turn js so it is a javascript code intelligence for atom with turn add support to es5 es6 es7 and ex8 and node.js extendable via plugin so it is basically for the node.js purposes and you can see the codes here you can see the features uh, like auto completion via key binding that are pre-installed in this one in this one uh, it is uh, basically a pre-installed uh, auto function or auto complete uh, functions for your javascript and node.js so this is background auto object animate camera etc so the number three is auto close html so it basically closes the html tag it auto completes the html tag right if you write head it will auto complete the head uh, slash head tag or if you write title it will do the title uh, slash title tag and the number four it is emit and this is my basically the favorite one and I have already made a video on the emit on how to install it on brackets and it is a very much essential tool for web developers this plugin is my favorite and why because it auto completes everything and gives a suggestion on the what uh, other about other functions and etc so emit is my favorite one So the number five is CSS lint. 
CSS lint is error reports for your atom editor. Like if you write any error, it will show you that there is an error in the line because uh, in ID it is the main basic feature that you want that uh, you can see the there is a margin error margin uh, attribute is given and the values of zero should not have a unit specified so zero pixel is not allowed zero pixel is not allowed and also don't use id in selectors it will give you a suggestion of the error so you can rectify it later so this was a uh, at number five the css lint So at number six comes the language EJS is the EJS support for Atom. So it is just the EJS support for your Atom editor that is the embedded JavaScript. So at number seven we have the Atom HTML preview a live preview for your atom editor tool you know basically uh, some of them extensions are not that much uh, in depth to talk about it is just a basic line or something that you can get it will just preview your the code uh, output live so it is the number eight is the sublime style column selection in other words, sublime style column selection just hold alt while you select or select your middle mouse button it is also similar to textmates multiple carrots and bbe edits block select so it is basically the uh, if you ever used the sublime editor you will love it uh, because of the style of it not because of its features because of the styling it has and the text and font style so also there is a column selection part and you can just get it on your atom with this extension the linter eslint the lint javascript on the fly using eslint so you can see the installation here uh, use the plugin and it is just a linter the basic linter the a base linter with cow powers you can see the readme here and you can see the output the linter is a base linter provider for the hackable atom editor additionally you need to install a specific linter for your language you will find a full list of atom linter.github.io it provides a top level api to its consumers so that they can visualize errors and other type of messages with ease so you know what linter is basically and so this is the basic linter and you can see the video output also here so and then last one pigments so what is the use of pigments it is a package to display colors in project and files so pigment will basically show you the output of the color on the editor as well like if you write a red color in the CSS file and and basically the text red color will be uh, having a background of red color so it will give you a you can see on the video as well it is giving a transparent green fade out and it is giving a color green and it is also turning green so you can see the RGB color it is red and then pink blue blue so this is the last one the pigment extension so this was my top or not top it, uh, this was my 10 must have extensions for your atom editor for our atom editor for web development purpose uh, so i hope it helped you as well so hope you like this video yeah and share this video and subscribe to my channel i will catch you up in the next one till then uh, stay safe and be awesome. Peace.